Okay, so the first upgrade is we're going to replace this plastic back foot. And the back foot at the bottom is prone to splitting just under here, which causes leaks uh, around in the power washer cuffunct. So to, to take this off, there is one of these metal clips just sits in the top here in there, holds the back foot in place. So to take that out, just turn the, the power washer upside down. You can see the bottom of the two pins here. Just with a nail or a screwdriver if it's fine enough. Just pop that up. Just to help get a start on it. Tip it back up and then prise it out. Just like that. It's not it's not too much of a deal if you damage this plastic bit because it will be replaced. So that just twists around say 30 degrees or so and with a bit of persuasion it just pulls out. So as you can see, this is the plastic back foot that I was telling you about. This is a bit that splits. And that's where the water comes out. So we will be replacing that with an aluminium back foot. And the kit comes with a new plastic fitting as well. Okay, so this, this aluminium back foot goes in here in this plastic housing now it does push right in there's a small lip on the bottom of the aluminium back foot and that should be you in as far as it's supposed to go it is a bit of a pain in the hoop trying to get it in like so so that's you in as far as it'll go now this is the fun part Trying to get this aligned with this while the outlet goes into the back foot. It's, it's a tight fit, so as soon as you push that on, naturally it tries to push it back off. So here goes none. Just going to try and get it a little bit more speed. As you can see, it's just popped straight back out. Just hang on just to try and so this should be a pull in. Twist. That should just pop straight in. So that's you. As a disclaimer, please do not use a hammer because the chances are it's going to weaken this aluminium. Uh, but that seems to be it fitted. So once this is on, we're going to add the next upgrade, which is the hose. So as a Karcher K4 owner, you'll be perfectly aware that the standard hose that comes with the pressure washer is a Pylog. So I've decided to upgrade from the standard 5 or 6 metre hose to a 10 metre rubber braided hose from Direct Hoses. Again, no affiliation, no sponsorship from Direct Hoses at all. It just happened to be the website that I found the hose that I wanted. So without further ado, let's get it fitted. First, we'll take a look at the original hose. It's of very poor quality nylon, I think. Very stiff, very kinky, not in a horny way. Once it gets kinked and it's rubbing across the ground, it is known to, it's known to wear through. So with the braided rubber, obviously, it's got a bit more protection there to stop from anywhere. 
This is a hose here, very flexible, non kink. Comes with two catcher quick fit connectors, one for the power washer end and one for the nozzle end. So let's get this fitted. Now, as you can see from the aluminium back foot, funnily enough, it's fitted exactly like this. So this is easy, it's pushing the hose into the back foot. It will line up, there's a groove inside the connector and the pin holes here just allow this funky little clip to sit in there snug and that's not coming out, okay? And that's you basically, that's, that's as easy as it is to connect the hose to the washer. Then next I just have a standard Karcher K4 hose, a nozzle, I beg your pardon. I'm not, fat, I'm not keen on the short trigger hoses for one reason or another, so I just use this. Then you take your other end. If you look inside, the, I don't know if you can see that, there's two little bars just to hold the clip release connector in place so once you push that in it opens them up again align the hose with the fitting inside slips in that's you so that is your you hose upgraded and then the rubber sleeve just pushes inside like so as you're ready to go and the third upgrade I want to talk to you about is an upgraded lance now, believe it or not, this one was off AliExpress. I think it cost about 11 or 12 pounds. It has the capture fitting on the end. It's got a zero degree nozzle, but you're not going to go that near that with a car. Near a car with that, should I say. A 15 degree, not a 15 degree fan, 25 degree fan, which is on it just now, a 40 and a 60. So, it's a quick release. Pull back, one nozzle comes off, one nozzle goes on. You can get all attachments for this, you know, like your power, uh, your snow foam ones can have the quick release attachment on it. Just be very mindful though that if you've replaced it, if you've replaced nozzles, make sure that the sleeve is fully back over and in place. And before you go anywhere near a car, it's worthwhile just giving it a test shot near the ground. Because I've seen horror stories, heard horror stories that have not been on properly. You aim that at the car, press the trigger, power washer just blasts it out, and there's a nice new dink in one of your panels. Or even better, one of your customer's panels. So just be mindful that the quick release is fully in place before you start using it. Fitting. Obviously, if you've got a cartridge power washer, it just slips in there. There you go, you've got a full size lance, quick release, happy days. So, that is that. If you have not subscribed already, please consider doing so. If you have, thanks for watching again. Please like the video, click the bell icon so you get notifications every time I upload new content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Oh, <laughs>